Good evening. My name is Lainey, and I serve as Deacon Information at Grace Episcopal Church in Austining. I'll be reading Compline with you tonight. Our Compline begins on page 127 of the Book of Common Prayer. Let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life and the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We continue with Psalm 4 on page 128. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lay down in peace, at once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. And now we continue with Psalm 31 on page 129. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me. O Lord, O God of truth. And now we continue with Psalm 134 on page 131. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that stand by night in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now I'd like to read you a prayer from the book Gorillas of Grace, Prayers for the Battle, by Ted Loder. It's called Catch Me in My Scurrying. This prayer is a kind of Lenten poem about stopping our usual frantic pace to breathe in grace, and to extend grace to others in turn. Catch me in my scurrying. Catch me in my anxious scurrying, Lord, and hold me in this Lenten season. Hold my feet to the fire of your grace and make me attentive to my mortality, that I may begin to die now to those things that keep me from living with you and with my neighbors on this earth to grudges and indifference, to certainties that smother possibilities, to my fascination with false securities, to my addiction to sweatless dreams, to my arrogant insistence on how it has to be, to my corrosive fear of dying someday, which eats away the wonder of living this day, and the adventure of losing my life in order to find it in you. Catch me in my aimless scurrying, Lord, and hold me in this Lenten season. 
Hold my heart to the beat of your grace and create in me a resting place, a kneeling place, a tiptoe place, where I can recover from the disease of my grandiosities, which fill my mind and calendar with busy self-importance, that I may become vulnerable enough to dare intimacy with the familiar, to listen cup-eared for your summons, and to watch squint-eyed for your crooked finger in the crying of a child, in the hunger of the street people, in the fear of the contagion of terrorism in all people, in the rage of those oppressed because of sex or race, in the smoldering resentments of exploited third world nations, in the sullen apathy of the poor and ghetto strangled people, in my lonely doubt and limping ambivalence. And somehow during the season of sacrifice, enable me to sacrifice time and possessions and securities to do something, something about what I see, something to turn the water of my words into the wine of will and risk, into the bread of blood and blisters, into the blessedness of deed of a cross picked up, a savior followed. Catch me in my mindless scurrying, Lord, and hold me in this Lenten season. Hold my spirit to the beacon of your grace and grant me light enough to walk boldly, to feel passionately, to love aggressively. Grant me peace enough to want more, to work for more, and to submit to nothing less and to fear only you, only you. Bequeath me not becalmed seas, slack sails, and premature benedictions, but breathe into me a torment storm enough to make within myself and from myself something. Something new, something saving, something true. A gladness of heart, a pitch for a song in the storm, a word of praise lived, a gratitude shared, a cross dared, and a joy received. We now continue on page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue now on page 134. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Continue now in silent prayer for a few minutes. Should have said a few seconds because I'm not going to be silent for a few minutes. Now we'd like to offer our Monday parish prayers for Grace Church. We pray for Faith, Betty, Bill, Aileen, Father Charles, Alicia, Kathleen, Chuck, George, Mary, Jean, 
Claire, Jenny, Jim, Nils, Al, Dennis, Zach, Henry, and Teresa. Ginger, Bev, Terry, Todd, Stephanie, Stephen, Jenny, Mary Beth, Suzanne, Arthur, Bill, Al, Phil, Magda, Noel, Sally, Margaret, Bobby, Mike, and Andreas, Tim, the Kovac family, and Sarah. We pray now for our essential workers, Holly, Ray, Alfreda, Jan, Alexis, Todd, Peter, Dina, Steve, Graham, Pablo, Bill, and Anthony. And for those who have died, especially Walter Rowe, Theo Thomas, Carol Kovac, and Katie Meyer. Tonight, I would like to add a prayer for peace in light of the war in Ukraine, as well as an ongoing war in Yemen. And we don't hear as much about that one, but it's been going on since 2014. This prayer is on page 816 of the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, guide the nations of the world into the way of justice and truth and establish among them that peace which is the fruit of righteousness, that they may become the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Continuing on page 134 of the Book of Common Prayer. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you for joining me tonight, and I hope you have a wonderful night and you will continue to pray for the concerns of this world and of our local church. <laughs>